Hey there, YouTube, BD2 Finger here, showing you how I use Irfan View or any normal image editor when I'm building a guitar pedal. So I'll take my image, I'm going to control Y, which is crop, and then I'm going to blow that up. Uh, and then I, you can resize it here in image, or uh, actually what I do, I run two programs. I've got another one called Print Screen. So when I hit my print screen button, uh, that gives me the screenshot on my desktop. The problem is it shows you the software that I had it open in. So then you need to re-edit that. You need to re-crop it, control Y, control S, and then I'll write uh, CG, that's the name of the circuit, CU, for close-up. So now I have this CG CU image, which I already created over here. Uh, yeah, here it is. So it's a lot easier for me to read. And if you look here, there's 10 track cuts and 8 links. The cuts are these red guys where you physically cut this. Uh, you flip the board over, uh, and then I use a drill bit to remove that. So what I do is uh, I'll flip the board over. I'll use this image software to flip the image by hitting H. And then that way... Uh, you know, you flip the image, you flip the board, and you're looking at it the same way, rather than having to count everything out and triple check every time I mark it. But what I do is I flip the image, and then I, I will go through with a uh, with a red sharpie first and mark them all, and and then that way I can go back and check my work before I cut in. Same thing with these links. These are little uh, jumper wires that you solder in. I will use a black sharpie and I'll draw like a fine point. I'll, I'll, I'll mark the board up. I mark everything. I, I mark where the resistors go uh, and, and then double check it with my partner before I uh, actually cut anything in. But this is about Irfan view. If you look on the original, uh, this is the layout here. What I'll do is I'll grab this and we'll convert that into uh, links and cuts, which this shows you. Um, and you know, you could, you don't have to do what I do is like really go crazy and edit the image and put more information on it. But H is what flips it for you. In Irfan view, if you're going to want to flip the image uh, horizontally, that, that's H. And it's good they have these two reference dots in here for you so you know. Uh, this is the starting image. Whenever I flip it, I will I will go ahead and label it reversed image. So what what I end up doing is um, I will copy and paste. Like you start with this, okay, and I'm going to make an image with just the cuts on it. So I need to get rid of all these black lines. So I will copy. Uh, Control C, and then I'm going to move this over here, and Control V, and then there, that's easier for me to, uh, you know, I go through when I eliminate all the black, and then I go even further, and what I'll do for the cuts, I'll write in, okay, so this is on the fourth row, one, two, three, four, so I put a four, and then five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11 for this row. There's a 7 gap on top, so I'll put that with an arrow. Uh, this is 12 out going that way. It's 11 out going this way. Here we're 8 out go, starting from over here, so I have an 8 with the arrow going that way. Here's a 7. I didn't put an arrow because it's pretty... You know, there's an 11 gap in between these two, and there's a 5 here because this is the 5th row. There's 6 empty spaces here, so I have a 6 with an arrow. The green uh, denotes the gap, the measuring of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I call that a 7 gap. So I can talk this out, like I can have my uh, wife look at, after I mark this up, I'll hand this to her and I'll say, okay, we're starting on the top right, going in on the fourth row, one down, I'm in one. I'm in a cut. And I'm going right, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 up, I'm in one. So I'll, I'll talk that to her while I'm looking at this computer screen, and she's looking at the board that I've marked up. And once we triple check it, then I'll go ahead and cut. Because uh, I've screwed this up before, and it's not fun when you screw it up. 
So it's pretty much about the same thing. Uh, what do we got? Close up, close up. There's two close ups here. Yeah, they're pretty much identical. We can delete one. Um, we've got links and cuts, which I really don't need. Uh, the, 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 the links here has about the same thing. Fifth row. It's a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll put the uh, measurements of what they are. Each one's notated in the middle. And then you have the gaps with a different color. So here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight links. It's 23 by 15. Now what I, what I will do, I'll add an, an additional two rows here. Maybe even three. Depends on the chassis. Add additional rows so I can run the wire up through it. Uh, and then down to solder. So the wire is going through a hole. So that means I've got to enlarge these holes a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I do a little extra row. Oftentimes, if uh, let's say the ground's down here, uh, and there'll be an input up here or something without a ground, I will have an additional row on the top, and I'll run my own link uh, from the ground. Let's say the ground was down here. I'll run my own link up to this, so there'll be a ground on the top and a ground on the bottom. And then when the, if the input comes in over here, I don't have to, uh, let's say I'm using shielded cable. Uh, I don't have to run the hot side of that cable and then extend all the way down here to the ground. I'll, I'll have a ground up here too. So that's just uh, using a graphic editor to make my life easier when it comes to uh, Vero layout. If you're uh, doing Vero stuff and you have any questions, I've got videos on Vero tips and tricks. There's an early one that everyone complains about, and then a later one where I redid it, where I talk really fast and try to get through all the information without anything extra. So that was, uh, hopefully that was helpful, and uh, good luck with your Vero. If you got any questions, feel free to get a hold of me in the comment section. I'll do the best I can to help you out and have fun.